what's up everyone welcome back to fisher family adventures if you're new here i am brendan and i live in southwest florida on the gulf of mexico today we are out here offshore fishing a little bit choppy so we only made it uh, about 30 miles or so to one of the local wrecks and we're going to try out some new jigs so stay tuned Before we jump into the action, if you could please like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. So the first jig I want to try out is this squid jig. It's a Nomad squid jig, it's pretty new. Um, they come in all sizes, this is the one and three quarter ounce one. And apparently they work just like a vertical jig, you jig them off the bottom. so. I saw a bunch of YouTubers in Australia using them. I want to try it out and see if it'll work. We got a dolphin playing around with the bow of the boat. Look. There they are. Not a good sign because I wanted to fish it here, but... Oh, there's a fish on the squid tracks. Something small, but that's my second bite on it. The first one was a big bite. Let's see what ate it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Small grouper. Munch this squid lure. Got all these tentacles and colors on the side. That's pretty cool. Let's throw it down again, see what we get. All right, so we're gonna go with a different color, a little bit of a smaller presentation. This is the one ounce version. Drop it down, see if anything wants to eat it down there. So the one ouncer was a little too light to work on the bottom, and we're in about 75 feet of water here. So I would suggest getting the heavier size if you're fishing and anything deeper than about 60, 70 feet. Now for a little comparison, I'm going to use this 120 gram Johnny Jigs and see how long it's going to take because I bet you the vertical jig, slow pitch jig, whatever you want to call it, will work better or just as good as those two lures I just used. Got a fish. Something small, but it's fish. That didn't take long. Ooh, trigger fish. On the jig, look at that. This one's too small, but that's cool. There's a fish. Feels like another juvenile red grouper, but we will see. Yep. That's fish. Hit it hard too. Feels like a small grouper, if I had to guess. Well, they're down there. We're over a good bottom. It's a red grouper. And we're bit. This is on just a chunk of squid. Feels like something tiny, tiny snapper. This is a micro snapper. Yeah, small yellow tail. Tiny fish. This was on just a tiny, tiny little piece of bait. It's like a small snapper. Oh, 
Nope, it is a grunt, but that is perfect, perfect grouper bait. So he's gonna go in the live well and we're gonna use him whole. Another one on. This was just on a tiny piece of cut bait, so probably a small snapper if I had to guess. Perfect, another grouper bait. Sounds good to me. Yeah, these are grunts, man, and they are the perfect grouper bait. All right, since we know there's big fish down there, we're gonna send down this big grunt pole live. it again on the little piece of squid. Probably another grunt. Oh, a little red grouper, look at that. Different species. Little red grouper. Dump it again. Got him. Another yellowtail, juvenile. Got another fish on, this is on the ground. Feeling groupery. No, did he come off? Nah, he's still, still there. Still there. On the grunt, I think he might keep. We'll me give him a measure. And he was just barely hooked too. Look at that. We'll give him a measure. Too small, he's gonna have to go back. Just 19 and a half inches. We're at a new spot. Just gonna try a little piece of squid. See what's down there. Mark's up there in 77 feet. Something big. And we're just coming back over right now. We'll see what's down there. Fish on. Gonna be the right kind, we'll see. Feels smaller. See what we got. There's another red, small one though. This rod just got smacked. I think it's a small red grouper. Got hit hard though. I'm just a little chunk. Yep, found the red groupers again. Aggressive fish. Another about 16 inch red grouper, we're gonna send it back. I'm just marking some little stuff here. So, let's see what it is. That was a quick bite. Quick, quick bite. It's gotta be something small. Yeah, there we go. It's hooked. Something tiny. Tiny, tiny clean snapper. Wonder what else is down there.
Okay. Okay. That is a good fish. Got you, buddy. Man, I just want to do one drop here. Let's see what it is. I think it's a good grouper. I see him. It does look like a good grouper. Nice red grouper. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, he's feisty still. Yep, good fish. He was hooked weird. Alright, guys, check out this red grouper we just caught on this bottom. Gorgeous fish. I just want to show you guys this fish, this red grouper we just caught. This is what the bottom looked like that we caught them on. Like absolutely nothing, just like the smallest amount of stuff. So sometimes don't pass up bottom that looks a little bit like that. You see those darker yellows and greens towards the bottom? Definitely stop on that type of stuff. You can find grouper like this. We're only in 77 feet of water. This is probably 26 inch red. Decent fish. This is what this guy just spit up. A nice grunt. We're gonna use them for bait. Well, that didn't take long. This fish is pulling. Oh, he's kicking hard. There's gonna be another nice red grouper. Probably not as big as the other one, but still a decent fish. Yeah, nice fish. Probably at 22. Just barely hooked as well. Gorgeous fish. And again, this is a fish we pulled off here. This is what the bottom looks like. Absolutely nothing. Back on it again. This is a smaller one. Yeah, we'll let him go. Tiny grouper. Another red grouper off the spot. Check it you guys, absolutely gorgeous gag grouper. I just pulled off this spot. Unfortunately, they are out of season, so he's gonna have to go back. Gorgeous fish though, is a gag grouper. We got eight again on the grunt. Oh, he dropped it, or did he come off? Some big just ate this grunt. And he was just sitting with it, so it didn't remind me of a shark. Oh yeah, he's still there. Yep. Okay. We got him now. Is this a Goliath? What is this? I say a grunt. Loosen up the drag. Let me get this out of here. This is something good. Take a line, this could be a shark. Could be a cobia, it could be a lot of things. I'm leading towards the shark. Whew. I'm a full dragon, he's taking line, he's running. Ah, oh, it's not good, he's on the boat. I gotta take this out. That's not good. That's not good, not good. Tough doing this fishing solo.
on a live grunt out here. Yeah, it's probably about a 100 pound Goliath grouper right there. We're not even on a wreck, but he's still around. He took off, man. Maybe think like he wasn't a shark. Just a Goliath. We're gonna unhook him and get him back on his way. It's funny, this was me fighting him up the entire way off the bottom. It's unbelievable. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We had a pretty good day on the water. Got that awesome gag grouper, tried out some new lures and jigs, and even got our limit of red grouper. So we're gonna head in and clean for the fish. And please, if you like this video and content like this, like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel.